Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss how to do rainfall data analysis and how to plot precipitation data set using R Studio. So without wasting any time, I am just going to show you my data set. So here in my excel file, you can see my data and its date and its precipitation starting from 1981 and going toward uh, 2010. So uh, it doesn't matter which, how many years do you have but uh, you need to prepare data just following my steps so you need to select this entire column and uh, right click and go to format cells so under format cells you will find uh, a date option here in the fifth number and you can choose year month and day this type uh, this format click ok so in this way your uh, data date uh, table will be converted into year month and day so after doing that just uh, save this file uh, by, by pressing ctrl s so this file is already saved and close it so my data is located in on desktop here its name is precip.csv so now let's go to our r studio for this purpose to plot data set and to do rainfall analysis we need add a package uh, what is the package it is actually hydro tsm so how to install any package if you are not a beginner you know how to install packages and if you are beginner then just follow me you go to packages here and I, I click on install and after clicking on install a new tab will appear and on the new tab you will need to write uh, hydro h y t r o and t s m so you can find here at the end tsm but i have already installed it so i'm not going to repeat this now we are just uh, we need to um, start our work without wasting any time so it's our console main console tab you need to just add a library as we already do in uh, many options so in library we need to use uh, hydro tsm library so you can find here okay so it is the loading the packages and everything required for this uh, sort of uh, library so after doing after working will completed you can see it is completed we uh, need to upload our uh, data precipitation data so i am just going to use gpr for just as a name so now we need to read csv and we need to choose our file so go to choose choose dot and there multiple option will appear so it is not appearing okay everything is fine so just choose file choose dot files so just click enter and it will uh, lead to word you were uh selection browse uh, here you can see it is automatically appearing this type of uh, uh select file option now here it is already on desktop and uh, just write such your name whichever so this is my file i am just going to open it so you can see in the environment uh, uh gpr data is already uploaded here so uh, you can also show gpr in uh, here so this data is already uh, uploaded and you can see here in the console window so now i am just uh, uh, doing something like this to show you uh, okay now you can write as a head and a head gpl you can see the headings and similarly you can also check the names and uh, okay everything is doing uh, good it's date and a pr okay so we need to change the uh, format of our date so just going to date.gpr a new file here and uh, using uh, strip time option strip time and under strip time i am using gpr and uh, it's the date column the first column so it's date 
so similarly I'm going for format so what, what is our format it should be uh, year as I already showed you in my file my data file it's a year first and uh, then it's uh, months and after that it is uh, a day okay press enter now our format is something to change so let's see date.gpr how it looks okay so now we are just going to use dates uh, and new file dates dot uh, new gpr and similarly we are using uh, format format and under format we are going to use shit again we are going to repeat dates dot gpr and in gpr i am going to use format uh, format and uh, in format we are just uh, using the previous date dot gpr and uh, comma and again uh, the same format as we did uh, previously uh, year dash uh, month and dash uh, day okay okay that's uh, okay now we are just going to use uh, <coughs> daily so i'm going to create a new file name as gpr daily so let's see here gpr daily now so i'm going to use uh, aggregate a double g aggregate in aggregate we are using gpr and uh, gpr precipitation in the second column and uh, similarly we are going to use uh, by list uh, list um, list of dates dot gpr and uh, after that we are using fun fun is equal to function is equal to sum we are using sum okay so if it's okay now we can check on names names of uh, gpr daily as we did in just above okay so so it's a group dot one and uh, x so we can uh, add some data into GPR daily, GPR dot daily by doing a function, a character C, and uh, in C we're going to use uh, dates dot GPR, dates dot uh, GPR so we are again uh, we have a mistake so i'm going to use names uh, gpr daily and in names we are going to use uh, test dot gpr and uh, comma and pr because our second column is precipitation so it's okay okay after doing that So GPR dot daily and uh, again using a dollar sign and uh, in uh, which column we are using as uh, dates dot GPR this one is equal to as dot uh, date and uh, as dot GPR daily this one and uh, okay gpr daily and uh, dollar sign dates dot gpr and again repeating the uh, format of year dash months and dash day Okay, now let's uh, plot our data. 
and you can see okay for plotting we are going to use uh, plot and uh, plot uh, date .gpr. and uh, data gpr and also we are using to is equal to it is actually the x-axis date.gpr and similarly for y-axis we are using uh, gpr and uh, under gpr we are interested with precipitation okay and uh, in precipitation we are going to use uh, uh, type is equal to line l okay and we can also use some labels so x labels is equal to we can say here and similarly we are going to use y labels and y labels is equal to precipitation we can name uh, anything but i'm going to, going to use precipitation here okay so let's see how our graph look like it's uh, working and here it is our graph is appeared so let's uh, move further we are going to use uh, gpr daily dot ts is equal to and we will just uh, going to use zoo and in zoo we are going to use uh, gpr dot daily dot uh, ts uh, gpr daily and uh, in gpr dot uh, daily and we are interested with precipitation and uh, we are going to order by order dot uh, by is equal to gpr dot uh, daily and uh, dollar sign and uh, dates dot gpr okay now again we can see heading of uh, gpr daily dot es okay so it is uh, 1981 okay now we are going to use as you can see gpr uh, daily dot ts by doing uh, this so here is our all the data and uh, of uh, till 1983 27 September 1983 okay so look we can again use plot gpr.daily.ts uh, as our x axis and uh, similarly we are going to use x label is equal to here as we did previously and similarly we are going to use a y label and a y label is a uh, precipitation okay now graph is a little bit changed okay now we are just going to use our hydro plot a new command of hydro plot hydro plot this one and under hydro plot we are going to use uh, gpr.daily uh, ts and uh, again we are going to use uh, variable type Precipitation and similarly we are going to uh, so we need to provide variable dot uh, unit also so its unit is uh, uh, millimeter our uh, rainfall uh, data uh, units so we are going to use x labels and x labels is uh, 
I year or you can also use as a time and similarly we are going to use uh, valuable and valuable is frustration okay frustration in mm you can write this or sim simple frustration is also enough okay, no working and uh, it will plot some graph you can check by zooming it so here you can see the multiple graphs are already appeared you can check and you can also use these type of plots in your thesis and uh, in your research so it is daily time series and monthly time series and similarly annually time series and what as in daily box plot, monthly box plot, annual box plot, and similarly daily histogram, monthly histogram, and annual histogram. So, I hope this video will help you in your research. If you feel it, this is uh, uh, very helpful for you. Please share it with your friends. Thanks a lot.